Hello, greetings to all Pokemon fans. Uh, Pokemon Legends ZA is now fully playable into your PC. And if you're interested in knowing this, then this is the perfect video tutorial that you need to watch. So first of all, what you need is that you will need to have a copy of all the files that have highlighted here in my folder. These are the Dynamic 60 FPS mod, which will allow you to play Pokemon Legends ZA in 60 FPS consistently. And also you will need to have the firmware and the Nintendo Switch keys from the Nintendo Switch and it should be in version 20. You will need Pokemon Legends ZA in NSP file format and in you also need an emulator called Ryubing Emulator. But before you follow this guide, I need you to agree that you have already purchased a legal copy of Pokemon Legends ZA. So I need you to buy the game and own a physical copy of it. You don't support any piracy in here so be sure to have and own a Nintendo Switch console and also the game. So if you have this, then proceed into this guide. Now go to Google and then just search Ryubing Emulator because that's the emulator we'll need to get and go to their official GitHub page. So click on the site, hover down below, look for the latest build. You can find stable releases here. So just click on that so that you'll be redirected now. So look for uh, the installer that you have, uh, the device. Uh, so if you're from Linux, get the installer here. And if you're from Mac, be sure to get the Mac version. And if you're from Linux ARM64, get the installer here. And for those who are in Windows, just like me, just click and download it here. Because since I have already have the file, I have already downloaded it. So I'm just gonna skip on this and go into the folder where I have it. So once you've downloaded uh, the emulator, double click on it and then just drag and drop this file into uh, wherever into your PC, could be anywhere. So, uh, but it's better that you put it in an SSD rather than an HDD, okay? You should do that. And also just change the name of the folder into Ubing or Ujinx emulator and do that. And then open the folder and just look for the Ujinx application file in order for you to run and play uh, Ubing emulator. So since I have already uh, have set up this uh, emulator into a different drive, so I'm just gonna close in this because I have already optimized mine. I'm just gonna delete that. Then you can assume that you have already opened your Ubing emulator. So if this is your first installation, your Ubing emulator will look empty and it will need some installation files uh, to be able to detect and play Switch games first. So what are those files? Those files are the three files that I've alighted here. These are the Nintendo Switch keys and the Nintendo Switch firmware. Again, it should be in version 20 in order for it to run and play Pokemon Legends ZA. Now, if you're asking me how to get all of these files, the most legal way to do this is that you own uh, a Nintendo Switch console, which you have modded and have installed a custom firmware in it. Because if it has a custom firmware installed in it, it means that you have full access of your Nintendo Switch system files. Once you have access in those, just look for all of the keys and the firmware file of Switch and then transfer them into your PC, just like mine here. And in order for you to get the game, there is no other way around this. Again, please do purchase the game on the physical copy, dump it into an NSP or XCI format. So for those who don't know how to dump their game, or don't know how to mod or install a custom firmware to the Nintendo Switch, but own a Switch and own the game, then this is the next step that you need to do. Just prepare your mobile phone and scan this QR code here with your QR code reader so that you'll be redirected to the page wherein you can get all of these free files. Just be sure to follow all the instructions on the website to get these files. And once you have them, just transfer them into your PC if you have downloaded them into your phone. So uh, I'm just going to assume that you have these files now. So let's uh, install them in Ryubing. So open Ryubing emulator again. Then the next step is to open the keys zip file, open the folder inside, go to Ryubing, go to actions, install keys, install that keys, and then just create a new folder, name it keys, open that, and then just drag and drop the product keys and title keys inside into the folder that you have created. And once done, click on the prod.keys, hit open, hit yes, hit OK. Then go back to actions, go to install keys, install that keys, choose the title keys next, hit open, hit yes, hit OK. Then the next step is to install the firmware. So you just go back to actions again, install firmware, install firmware from XE or zip file, and then just locate on that firmware file version. 
So we are using the version 20.5.0. Hit open. And then it will say that we have installed it. Hit yes. It will say successfully installed. You'll know that it is successful because right down here below it says from version 20.5.0. And if you have switched games already in your system, it will now be detected and it will show you their game icon. So just like mine here, as you can see, I have Pokemon Legends CA. It's in the base uh, format. The base version, I mean, because we cannot install the update yet. Because if we do, then Rubing Emulator will crash. So don't uh, install the update. And also, I have played an hour of the game and it's uh, 4 gigabytes of game file. So now, the next step is that we will need to install the mod. Okay, the 60 FPS mod. So just hover into the icon of the game and right click on it and just select manage mods here. And then as you can see, I have the dynamic 60 FPS mod. For you, you'll have to click on add and create a new folder, name it mods, open that. And all we have to do is just um, remember the QR code that I have provided. You will also get the dynamic 60 FPS mod here. And all I have to do is just open that and then just drag and drop this files into this folder here. But I, since I have already installed mine, I'm just going to close this. But for you, you'll just have to select that, select folder. And since I have that already, it will not add. But here, uh, the, first wish, the first one is already set. So just hit save. Now your Rubing, I mean your Pokemon Legends, ZA is now capable of running 60 FPS, but we still need to change some settings in Rubing Emulator so that it will fix the issue where in when you enter the Lumia City, uh, the first cinematic scene will crash. So we'll have to fix that too. So just go to Options, go to Settings, and in this part, just be sure to pause the video and copy every setting that you see here. So these are my settings for the interface tab. Uh, the game directories is where you will store your Nintendo Switch games and it should be in XEI or NSP file format. Now go ahead, go to input and connect your Nintendo Switch Pro controller here or Xbox, PlayStation or any PC controller here. Be sure to connect them and then just change uh, the settings here according to your liking. The dead zone for both left and right sticks, you should change those into point twenty, and the range should be in 2. Uh, the dead zone changing to point twenty is for those who are having issues like drifting into their controller. Once done, go to system. In this part, you can change the region, language, and time zone to anything that you like. So vSync uh, setting is set to switch, and I have checked my FS integrity checks. Uh, these are the settings that you need to change in this tab, and also in the DRAM size, we need to change to eight gigabytes because before it's in four gigabytes file. Usually, this will, will let you play all of Switch games, but for uh, for some reason, Pokemon Legend ZA needs to be in 8GB. Now go to CPU. We need to uncheck the PPTC because before, we need to check this to play Switch games. But for this game, we'll need to uncheck it. Copy the other settings here. And you go to Graphics. Uh, so, the Graphics Backend is in Vulkan API. Your preferred GPU is a dedicated graphics card. and. As long as you have a graphics card that is a GTX 1050 or 1060, you'll be able to play any Switch games with it. But that's a really old card, so you'll be able to play this game easily because I know you have a better one. So graphics backend should be on. Enable shader cache, enable macro HLE. Be sure to check that. Resolution scale is in two times resolution, which is 1440p. But if you're having some issues because your CPU is slow, you could change back to native. And if you have a powerful CPU, you can go for 4K or 8K resolution depending on the monitor you have. But for me, two times resolution is the best. Now, anti-aliasing is set to SMA Ultra. And if you're having issues, change this to none. Scaling filter FSR is set to 100%. But if you're having some issues, change this to bilinear. And isotropic filtering should be set into 16 times. But if you're having some issues, change this to auto. Aspect ratio 16 by 9. Depending on the aspect ratio of the monitor, you can change this to that. Once done, go to audio. So really simple settings, copy that, and everything else, everything, everything else in the tab is set to default. So don't change those. So once done, hit apply and hit OK. Congratulations, your Rubing emulator is now fully optimized to run and play Pokemon Legend ZA into your PC in 60 FPS or 4K resolution. So 
Uh, a little bit of a disclaimer, I will not be able to show you guys a gameplay of this game running to my PC because we all know how strict Nintendo is and they hate the Nintendo Switch emulation scene. So if I showed you a gameplay that this game is running smoothly in PC because it is much better looking than a Nintendo Switch 2 version. So I can't show you any gameplay at all, my channel will be taken down, my videos will be taken down if I do that, so please do understand. But I am willing to compromise a little bit. To show you proof that this video tutorial is working, I will try to boot up internet high screen of Pokemon Legends ZA, but I'm just gonna blur the screen from here on out so that Nintendo will not be able to hit me with any of their copyright strikes. So uh, please do understand that I can show you any gameplay at all. So I am now in the title screen, and as you can see here, if I hover down right here below, it says 59 to 60 FPS, the mod is perfectly working, and the game runs perfectly well in Rubing Emulator. So I'm just gonna stop the emulation here. So as long as you have followed all the steps that I've shown you in this guide, you'll be able to play Pokemon Legend ZA easily into your PC. So if you have some questions regarding the installation process of Pokemon Legend ZA, then just leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer all of them. And if you find this video helpful, please do like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell because that will help me out massively. Thank you for watching, see you next time, and goodbye for now.